I've been lifting for around about almost 20 years, which is kind of ridiculous and makes me a very old man. But I tell you, there was something that I loved to have been informed about when I was younger. And look, when I was growing up, you didn't have the sort of the access to the amount of fitness information that we do today. Like the internet, you know, was around. I wasn't born in like 1947. Fitness was still kind of seen as some weird thing you did behind a back alley, which sounds very, very strange. But I always tell people, all the protein you could get back then, it basically tasted like sand, which summed it up, right? Because the reason protein powder tastes so good now, and you can get whey protein, pea protein, beef protein, vegan protein, and we can do this all day, rice protein, I'm not gonna do it, it'll be boring. It's because fitness got popular. People started going to the gym and people wanted to be jacked. I think it kind of ties into the more social things that people do as well. Like I gave up drinking when I was 18 years old. Back then people looked at me like, well, you're a strange old guy. Now it's not really that big of a deal. People don't care. So we kind of evolved and we've kind of moved forward. But the one thing that I'd always look back now and not wished it's too much, like if a genie popped up, I wouldn't wish this. That'd be an absolute waste of a wish. One of the things I absolutely would have loved somebody would have told me was ignore all this nonsense about cardiovascular activity. I was so worried about doing cardio when I was younger because you've seen all the memes and you've seen all the silly things that people say, especially gym bros. Can't do cardio. It's going to steal away all of your gains and all of your hard work in the gym and all the food you're eating is just going to come out of your body. It's going to fall on the floor and you're going to look like an absolutely wet sap. I don't even know what that means. Now, I'm sure it probably came from a place where people had introduced cardio for some reason and started to lose muscle mass. But I want to take all of that and throw it out the window anyway. Let's just say for the sake of argument that yes, if you do too much cardio, all of your muscular gains are going to be stolen away. I mean, this comes back to the moderation argument. Doesn't matter if we're talking about food or fitness or lifting weights or cardiovascular stuff. If you do too much of anything, it's going to be bad for you. But I am talking about the most important word in health and fitness, which as we've said a thousand times before, is health. And ever since sort of, I got a personal trainer, which was when I did my bodybuilding competition, which was like 2016, 2017, I had somebody watching over me so I could basically take all my worries and my confidences. When it came to going to the gym, the fitness palace of love and giving it to them, I just did exactly what they told me to do. So they were like, well, you're going to have to get up every day and you're going to have to do some cardio if we're going to get into bodybuilding shape. And surprise, surprise, I didn't lose that much muscle mass, but what it did give me and the massive advantage that it did give me and something that I'm glad that I have adapted into my routine as I do get older is it just made me feel so much damn better and so much healthier than I had done before because there are countless studies that are coming out all of the time that getting up and moving or getting up and doing some kind of exertive exercise is actually going to help you later on in life and that is the thing I think sometimes we need to think about more as opposed to I want to walk around being a big jacked warrior I get that I still want to be a big jacked warrior too but ever since I have introduced well, I do morning cardio I do fasted cardio but there's no right or wrong to do cardio just get up and move morning night with food in your belly with food out in your belly figure out what works for you we said this on a video the other day somebody walked in here right now and said Simon you have to do high intensity interval training I would go no I don't want to do it don't make me I also actually find it has helped me when I get to the weight portion of my workout obviously I break it up into do if you want to do it in one session just always think what am I trying to prioritize today am I trying to build muscle then do your weight lifting first and if you're trying to prioritize cardio or fat loss or weight loss do your you know cardio stuff first again I like two sessions but that's not always feasible in a day-to-day -day work but what it has done is when I get up and do my morning cardio, wakes me up, makes me feel more prepared for my day. But I also, I've found over the last few years, however long it's been, that when it gets to time to, you know, clang and bang, whichever stupid word <laughs> we're using these days, I feel fitter, I feel better, I feel more motivated. And it's just helped me in my day-to-day -day life. Because obviously having cardiovascular fitness is super duper important. I also do my professional wrestling, so I want to be prepared for that. And it doesn't really matter because now I have been doing it for a long ass time. So I presume I'm still going to get the benefits from it. But it's so ridiculous the amount of stuff that we do get bogged down in. So that's basically the, the message, the conclusion of today's video is that if you read something, don't just take it as read, don't just take it as fair. Go and do your research, read other stuff, read anecdotal reports, read studies, re you know, research these things because it's massively, massively important. I get it, cardio is not very fun. Just pick the cardio that works for you and go with it. That's why I do steady state fasted cardio because I get up and have a coffee, it's, oh, it's not really fasted, whatever, but then I can go and do it. And like I say, it just sets me up for my day and actually makes me feel more prime for my work and everything else and also it's just nice you get back at what 7 30 8 a.m whatever it may be and you already feel like you've achieved and that makes you feel warm and fuzzy in your tum tum and once again it sets it up for the day but if i only had been marrying these two things together i think it would be massively important and actually when you do go watch a lot of fitness influencers or old school bodybuilders no nah, not old school bodybuilders but people that maybe bodybuilded back in the old school they all get to the sort of their mid-30s and their 40s and their 45s and their 50s and all of a sudden they're saying the same thing and that's because youth is wasted on the young sadly the only way we can learn is by educating yourselves but if you are worried about the cardio monster stealing away your gains i would actually say it's better than this cardio monster does steal away some 
some gains and you still do those cardio. Because remember, what's the most important muscle in the body? The heart. <laughs> Daddy Simon signing out. Shouldn't have said it. Now, of course, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell ding ding in case you'd like to know when other videos are going live. You can go to grillamind.com, force a Simon, use code Simon, get 10% off. I like these supplements and I do use some of them before my cardiovascular activity sometimes. And it just makes it a little bit, I wouldn't say easier, just gives you a little bit of a kick up the ass. I've also got merchandise at Pro Wrestling Tees and Samson Athletics, patreon.com, force a Simon at 316. I'm on Cameo, search for my name, personalized video messages. I've definitely missed something. Social media. Simon at 316. There you go. Good thing about doing these standing up videos, if I can just walk away, have a good day, kick some ass.